gorgeous and a very happy Frugal Friday to you. I hope that you've had a great week. It is such a joy to see you. Happy almost October to you. <sighs> like crazy. I got my fall decorations up. Finally, finally. Today's video topic is makeup tips to take years off of your face. I'm going to youthify you today. The number one tip, this is gonna sound so stupidly simple, and I've had it happen to me. I have experience with this tip. Wear less makeup. I can't tell you how many times I come onto a video barefaced, and so many people say to me, you look like a teenager. You look like you're 20 years younger than what you are. <laughs> and even out in public, you know, when I go out with nothing on my face, I get carded just by cooking alcohol. I don't drink, but I mean, I buy just alcohol for cooking my dishes and whatnot, get carded. But if I'm wearing makeup, I don't get carded. It makes sense though, because when we were teenagers, we couldn't wait to wear makeup. And I know if you were like me, you piled too much on and then it was like, whoa, but I mean, you looked older, <laughs> it worked. We've all heard the tip about nude eyeliner, white eyeliner, that they help to brighten the whites of your eyes. But did you know that there's a better color out there for brightening the whites of your eyes? And it's navy. Navy eyeliner is one of the best colors you can use as you age because as we get older, the whites of our eyes start to yellow, much like our teeth. And navy helps to counterbalance that yellow in our eyes, making them appear whiter and brighter. I have three personal favorite navy eyeliners. The first one is from Bare Minerals in the shade Sapphire. I also love this one from Ardell. It's their Wanna Get Lucky Gel Liner in the shade Cobalt. And the one that I'm using in the up close example that I'm showing you here is from Charlotte Tilbury, and that is the Super Blue Matte Eyeliner. You get two eyeliners in this pencil. It's really spectacular. And one of my most favorite tips for applying eyeliner for the most youthful look as you get older is to only apply it to the outer half of your lower lash line or your lower water line. Because when you line the entire length of the eye, it closes eyes off, it can make them appear smaller. And by just applying it to those outer corners, it does help the eyes to look bigger, but also provides really beautiful definition. Another tip I have to share with you for more youthful looking skin is when you're choosing your foundation, choose one that has a lot of good skincare ingredients mixed into it. So one of my favorites that was very recently released from Bare Minerals is their Original Pure Serum, Radiant Natural Liquid Foundation. This looks like skin. It's got hyaluronic acid, white water lily in it. A lot of really excellent skincare ingredients mixed into the formula. It's very lightweight, looks amazing on the skin. It's very easy to apply. There is an SPF of 20 in it also. Another tip is to embrace silicone in your primers and your serums before you apply your makeup products because these help to temporarily fill in fine lines and they will create a smooth canvas for your makeup to glide over the top of. If you're one that has beautiful skin and you don't need a lot of foundation, but you have a little bit of minor age spots around your face, maybe some acne marks here in there, whatever the case may be. Instead of doing a whole face of foundation, you can also just take a little bit of a medium coverage foundation. The one that I'm using here is the Revlon Illuminance and take a small amount, dab it over those spots, blend out the edges and lightly set them with a translucent powder. You may need to do a couple of light passes of the foundation to get those spots to completely cover, but that's another great way to allow your natural skin to show through without feeling like you have too much on your face. Additionally, I wanted to add that rose hip oil or jojoba oil will help to temporarily fill in fine lines. So you can either apply these oils directly to the skin before applying your makeup, or you can look for skincare ingredients I'm sorry, skincare products that contain these ingredients to help plump those fine lines. Add highlights to your hair. This is one of the most overlooked but phenomenal ways to help brighten your face. I did this in the past myself where I just put blonde streaks around my face just to experiment and try something new and different. And I really loved how much it brightened my face and it truly does make quite a difference. So something to keep in mind as you get older, if you want a different hairstyle, try highlights. Many of us don't think about this next tip at all when it comes to looking more youthful, but it makes sense. Think about your feet for a second. How long have you been walking on your feet? For me, I've been walking on my feet for 40 years. Some of you may be walking on your feet for 30, 50, 60, 70, 80 years. That's a long time. And your feet are going to show 
their age, especially if you're not taking care of them. I can speak about that from personal experience. I remember reading something years ago that shifted my perspective a lot when it came to my feet and it said, if you're applying moisturizer to your hands and to your elbows at night, you should be also applying it to your heels. It's one of the most neglected parts of the body. And it makes sense. Next tip is a game changer. I've not heard anybody talk about this. Maybe you have, but it was a new one for me and it makes sense and it looks gorgeous. So when you're applying your highlighter, instead of applying it on the tops of your cheeks, like you traditionally would or on the bridge of your nose, try applying it to the temples. And what this does is it helps to lift the face, specifically the eyes. By the way, the highlighter that I'm using here is a cream-based one from Florence by Mills. It's called Self Love. And I noticed a subtle difference after applying this to the temple area. There was a slight lift to my eyes and it was a really beautiful effect. If you wanna experiment a little bit more with highlighter like this, you can also apply it to the outer corners of your mouth because this is another area of the face that tends to droop or sag as we get older. And so applying something here can also provide lift as it did to the eyes with that temple application. Speaking of the mouth, when you're applying your lip liner, instead of taking it all the way to the inner corners, like so many of us have done since our youth, now that we're getting older, we have to change the way that we're applying it a little bit differently to avoid that sagging or droopy look around the mouth. So instead of taking it to the corners, take it almost to the corners and stop and then blend it with your finger. And then I'll add another youthful tip on top of that. Instead of wearing a traditional lipstick with your lip liner, softly blend the edges of the lip liner with your finger and then add a nude or a sheer gloss over the top. Another tip that I'll add here that does help, I need to put in practice more, is applying a, a, a more vibrant color on the lips really does help to brighten the face. You'll notice today that I'm wearing a brighter pink than what I traditionally do. This is CoverGirl's Pink Sherbet. Sherbet? I think I'm saying that right? I don't know. Somebody will correct me if I'm not. <laughs> but it adds such a pop of color to my face. It helps to brighten things. I know when I wear colors like this, I get a lot of compliments from so many of you. Thank you. And so I try to be more mindful of wearing shades like that because I know that it does help to create a more youthful appearance. So I wanted to share that with you as well. I still love a good nude though. I can't help it. Curling your lashes, very simplistic tip, but another one that's really overlooked and not many consider the impact that it has just by simply curling your lashes. Now my most favorite eyelash curler that you see me use in all my videos is the one from Surratt Beauty. Uh, it's not a cheap eyelash curler, I'll just tell you. It's like a $30 eyelash curler. But I love it because it's bigger than most curlers. It does a great job of curling your lashes. You don't have to heat it up because it's that good. I have two because I love it so much. And it's one that I swear by, I've been using it for years. For those of you who love history facts, by the way, I just learned that the guy that started Surratt Beauty, I don't know his name, was an assistant for Kevin Aquan back in the 90s. Along with curling your lashes, the way you apply your mascara can also have a dramatic difference on how your lashes look. So I usually layer mascaras, and the way that I do it is I use a waterproof mascara first. This helps to hold the curl, and I apply a few coats of that to help thicken the lashes, and before that dries, I go in with a lengthening mascara. And the mascaras that I'm using in the up close example here are the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. That's the first one I used. And the second one was the Rimmel Wonder Extension Mascara. And those two together look really spectacular. One of the other tricks I've learned for a more youthful look is to refrain from pulling your hair back really tight. And I mean like those tight ponytails, tight buns, that can age you. So instead, what you want to do is wear more loose styles. So you'll notice that when I do my hair, it's not like slicked back, you know, like real tight. It's usually just very loosely pulled back. So it creates this softness around the face and that does help to soften your look and add a more youthful appearance. Let's talk about fragrance. Fragrance, surprisingly, can also have an effect on how old or how young people perceive you to be. Did you know this? Grapefruit is surprisingly one of the best youthful 
sense to wear and people who wear this are perceived to be 10 years younger than what they are. I read multiple studies on this and I was just like amazed by this. So if you want to try this, some ones that I have tried that I really like are the Marc Jacobs Daisy Perfume Clinique's Happy. Estee Lauder's Intuition is also another really amazing one. And Joe Malone's Grapefruit Scent. And the last tip I have to share with you is for concealer. When you're choosing concealer as you age, you want to look for ones that have a thicker consistency to them, simply because the thinner consistencies will not last and generally don't stay put. But the way that you apply the one with the thicker consistency matters. Apply the concealer under your eye and allow it to sit for at least 45 seconds. This helps to warm it up to the skin's temperature and then blend it in with your fingers. It will blend easier, it will last longer, and you will not have creasing with applying it this method. I know it doesn't appear that way, but there's something about letting it sit under on the under eye area that makes it melt into the skin better. And concealers that you can try this with are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. In the example here, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Concealer, which is another amazing one. And I would also recommend the one from Joa, oh, this one right here. The Perfect, Perfect Complexion Eye Serum Concealer is another great one. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna be notified of more videos like this in the future, you're always welcome to subscribe. And share your tips below. If you have a tip that has helped you turn back the hand of time that gives you a more youthful appearance that you've noticed people say something about or that you feel has really helped you maintain a youthful appearance, share it below. And maybe I'll make a video in the future featuring your tips as well. Because you always have great tips. I mean, gosh, I'll read through my comment section to get amazing ideas from all of you. So I just want to say thank you for your feedback because it really does help me to create more content for you like this. So I hope that you found this helpful today. I'm wishing you a beautifully blessed weekend ahead. I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home. And I look forward to seeing you again next week.